Hey hey, and welcome to the fourth level of Doom 64's Lost Levels. This is Wretched Vats. As we open the door here, we enter this peculiar looking room. There's a mesh cage above us, protecting us from the hell outside. But there's a bunch of monsters in front of us here. There's actually quite a lot of ammo around this room as well, so it's worth wandering around to grab that. Going to quickly clear out the imps down here so I don't have to deal with them later on. There's also an armor down here which will be useful in this level. Very interesting looking opening room here. Make sure we grab all the goodies we can. As we head through this door, there's a few enemies around this cage in the center here. There is a spectre in here so we just need to make sure we don't get attacked by him. As we go through this door here, there are two imps waiting for us inside. There's a super shotgun. Once we grab that, the walls start coming down. This is the only Hell Knight we have to deal with in this room, but there are two lost souls behind that wall there. Just make sure they don't attack you from the side. Also be wary because there's more lost souls that spawn back in this room. To move forward, we've got to head down this little cavern here that's opened up. There are two directions you can head in here, but only one of them really progresses you forward right now. If you come into this room, there's no enemies in here right now. Once you've grabbed the red key later on, a bunch of enemies will spawn in here. You can grab the chainsaw now though, which could be useful. As we head down the spiral staircase, we come to a sort of basement room here. There are some Hell Knights down here. I do like to get rid of the shotgun guys in the cage before taking these guys on, just so I don't get my health chips away. There is a massive secret in this room as well, but we won't be do dealing with that until we've grabbed the keycard here. The super shotgun is more than adequate for dealing with these enemies once they spawn in. When you come to this wall here, you can actually get yourself a plasma rifle. Now the plasma rifle is actually incredibly useful, but just be careful because again, there's another little pocket of lost souls that appear on the far side of the room there. As you can see, a bunch of enemies have spawned in. You can't go back the way we came, so the only way to get back to the start of the level is through here. There's no other direction for us to go. We need to go through the red door here. Once you come through here, some enemies will spawn in here. This is where the plasma rifle could really come into its own if you've saved the ammo for it, which I clearly didn't there. Be wary of the nightmare imps and the lost souls. We can now go through this red door here. This kind of becomes the main hub of the level moving forward. There's two directions we can go in, left or right from here. But we need to clear out the room because it's filled with arachnatrons and behind those bookcases there, there's actually a bunch of enemies that we need to make sure we're ready for when they drop down. I am going to focus my attention on these arachnatrons here just because I don't see much reason to let them wander around. Don't shoot the pillar like that, that's a waste of ammo, let me tell you. Grab all the goodies around this room. There are some Arachnatrons wandering around, so just be mindful of that. The exit's right in front of us there, but we can't actually do anything with that right now. We actually need to get the other two key cards to make that happen. Lower the rocket launcher here and it lowers all of the bookcases there. As we get rid of the enemies here, we just got to be careful because there are some enemies like the 
Hell Knights there that can cause a bit of trouble if you turn your back on them. If we head this way, we can quickly clear out this chamber here. We can't actually progress too far in here, we actually need the blue key. But if we get rid of all these enemies, it will make things a bit easier later on, when we might not have as much ammo to hand. Take over the Baron there. There's a Hell Knight who spawned into the center there. Just to get rid of him. There's the door we can't open quite yet. We do need the blue key to progress there. So we need to head in the other direction here. Making sure there's no secrets there. For some reason I thought there was a secret there. But I don't think there is. No ammo around here, so we can move to the next room. We'll grab the backpack there. Once we go around this corner, there's a Hell Knight. There's also some shotgunners behind us here who annoyingly will shoot us in the back. But we can grab this Berserk pack to get our health back. These Nightmare Imps aren't really a problem for us. When we go into this area here, we'll be able to grab the blue key. You can see that this kind of lets you loop around the level, so that's pretty nice. There's a lot of monsters in this area here, especially in the courtyards out to the sides. There's four Kako Demons in play. And you can see there's also Nightmare Imps who do like to wander around to shoot us in the side. You can see the blue key there. Can't quite get to it just this second, but we will be in a moment. It's very much worth getting rid of all these enemies because once we grab the blue key card, a bunch of more enemies are going to spawn in. And this area will become chaotic. Just need to be a bit careful, my health isn't doing too great there. Take care of you. And you. You can wander outside here. There are some goodies, like some health packs and some ammo if you really want them out here. There's also a secret here with a mega arm inside, which is very, very useful. Again, you can loop around into an earlier part of the le level here. This would be great if this was a multiplayer map, but unfortunately, Doom 64 does not have official multiplayer support in these ports, which is a real shame. When we hit that switch, it opens up the center and allows us to go into the blue key chamber we do need to be very careful though because it's one of these little traps and we will lose quite a lot of health if we time this wrong you can see a bunch of nightmare imps have spawned around here there's also a baron of hell over there i kind of want the baron to go into the center chamber there and he has done Let's watch him get squished. Delightful. And that's pretty much it for this section here. We won't be coming back in this direction. A bunch of Hell Knights and Barons have spawned here in this library section. So we need to be very careful of that. Now that we have the blue key card, we can head to the final section of this level just wants to show off that the exit requires us to have all three key cards there's no real way to cheese it on this level this section can be very nasty if you're not careful i recommend taking your absolute time with this area don't go rushing in head first because if you dive in and you allow all the enemies to spawn in you will get overwhelmed 
my best shout here is to just take your time, take out the enemies around the room, and try to make sure that you're not leaving yourself open to being attacked. You can see there's some nightmare imps up there. We'll be heading up in that section there in a little bit. We can't really hit them reliably. The main thing is to get rid of that Arachnatron. You can tell this is going to be a nice room because of all the box of rockets that are dotted around here. Hello, you. Once we come down to the bottom of the room here, Arachnatrons will spawn in like that. Excellent. This is where the, this room can become a real nightmare. If you're not careful with how you manage these enemies, you can get overwhelmed and taken down very easily there. As we're making our way around here, more enemies have appeared at the bottom there. But we can now access the bottom part of this chamber. We will be making use of the plasma rifle here. I'm not the biggest fan of this plasma rifle. I don't like using it because I feel the rate of fire is a bit slow. I like it when the plasma rifle just shoots rapidly like it does in the PC version. But it gets the job done here and that's all that really matters. You'll be wanting to clear out this area because we'll have to come back into this section in a bit and more enemies will be spawning in so don't think for a second that we're done just yet with this area. There's a secret here as well with a supercharge. Okay, that was a mistake. That was a bigger mistake. Oh, gosh, okay. Didn't expect him to come around that corner there. We almost paid for that dearly. Just going to do a quick scavenge around here, make sure we pick up all the ammo and health that we can. We'll be wanting that as we go into the next section. We'll be heading back into the previous room when we hit this switch. But as you can hear, some enemies have just woken up, which is always a lovely sound to hear in Doom 64. So you can see more Arachnatrons have spawned down below. It's not so much of a problem if you've got a lot of health, but if you're struggling for ammo at this point, this bit is a real nightmare. It's also about just making sure you manage the enemies. You can use the pillars in the center of the room to hide away from the Arachnatrons. Make sure you grab that yellow key and then run like Grease Lightning through to here. And we're pretty much done with this level. There's one final room here with some enemies before the exit switch but honestly this level is pretty much done i like this one i think this is a fun level to play through it's got some nice traps and i think it's got a really inventive layout i think that there's a lot to see and do in this level and there's quite a few fun encounters in particular that arachnatron room where the yellow key was there's a lot going on in that room and i think it's really really fun definitely a fun doom 64 level this one and we are coming up to the end of this playthrough. We've only got two more levels left. I have been enjoying these last levels. It's really nice to be able to play some new Doom 64 levels. The only time I've played these levels up to this point was when this actually came out. So getting to re-experience these and kind of go a bit more in depth and take my time playing through them has been really, really fun. The glory's up next. That's the penultimate level. And then we've got the final level, which is, I believe, Final Judgment. So we're coming up to the end of our Doom 64 playthrough here. Let me know what you think of Wretched Vats. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Let me know in the comments and thank you so, so much for watching.